I'm making enchiladas again tonight. Beth Goff is a homeowner, a wife, and a mother who on an average week spends around $115 on groceries, trying to eat as healthy as possible. Good all natural chips that we get at the store. But this week she's going to try and buy those same healthy meals on just $68.88. Oil, the chicken breasts. We've given Beth what the average family of four receiving food stamps gets from the federal government. Asking her to match up the amount with the health guidelines that's also given out by the federal government. I thought it was crazy, but I was up for the challenge. A challenge she could see would be difficult, not just for her, but also for her husband TJ and her two children, six-year-old Caroline and five-year-old Anderson. Just going down that first aisle, it, it was really upsetting because it was a huge bulk of my money. And with that money and the few coupons she was able to use, the entire golf family with mom at the helm started to eat what they hoped would last them the entire week. It was really frustrating and um, upsetting that I knew I was leaving behind things to feed my family. Beth tried her best to go by the new Federal Food and Drug Administration standard. In July, the FDA threw out the old food pyramid and now tells us to go by this food plate that suggests nearly half of your diet should be fruits and vegetables. But the more fruits and vegetables Beth put into her basket, the less food she could buy. I bought way less fruit and, and a lot less vegetables than what we were normally accustomed to because it was just too expensive. We couldn't, we couldn't get it. And the family's frustration grew at the end of just day one with an unforeseen difficulty. Going into day two, we had a half a loaf of bread. And by the end of day two, we had like two slices left. You know, we still had day three, four, five, six, and seven to go. I like to think that I know a good bit about food and food purchasing, and uh, it wasn't easy for me, and I do it every single day of the week. Chef Darren Smith agreed to the challenge as well. Pension pennies. But he attacked the idea of making the federal guidelines and the money meet in a different way. Start the family off right with good breakfast. Instead of buying as much food as he possibly could, he separated the amount of money he'd spend on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was also, in my mind, utilizing the leftover pieces to enrich dinner and the rest of the meals. But when getting produce, he ran into a familiar problem. You put a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables, which everybody would love to eat, it's almost impossible. He instead bought frozen vegetables, and on the few occasions he was able to, he bought in bulk. That should yield 42 pancakes. And he says cooking has to be the main ingredient, because prepared foods are easier, but they cost more. You have a firm outline of menu, a budget, the sale papers, coupons, I mean, it takes legwork, a lot of uh, strategy, and uh, just the ability to say no. He says though the task is tough, it can be reached, but variety would not be an option. As much knowledge about food th that I have and menu making and usage of product, I can make that work, but it would be a chore. Four pieces of chicken. And by day three at the Goffs, variety was long gone, and pancakes became lunch on day four. We ate a lot of peanut butter, um, we're out of bread. By the beginning of day five, the hopes that began high for the Goffs started to fall with their lack of food. I have no idea what we'll eat. And after just day five's breakfast, the food wasn't enough. You're cooking every meal at home, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, how quickly the food goes away. And you know, we're on day five, and all we have is like scraps of little things left, nothing we can really put together for a meal. The lesson they learned for stretching the money is research before you even step foot into a grocery store. I think it's doable if you can do your research and really shop or you can get the buy one get one free deals where you can get um, the better deals where your money's going to stretch longer. 